Okay, let's get started. This is Jason from Team ODZ. Today I'm going to try to help clarify some of the issues that we've been having with riders and team members trying to load our custom workouts um, from our Team ODZ Facebook uh, via the files tab here. Um, so I'm just going to go through really quickly. Um, I'm on a Mac, um, but I will go through a couple of the tips for those that are also on Windows to help. So real easy, um, I'm at the team um, Facebook here. What I'm gonna do is go over to the files tab, click there. It'll bring up all of our recent um, Odie's Wifters workout of the week. So we've got some warm-ups there, a couple tests. Um, we will be revamping this as we get closer to Worlds um, and it may actually be hosted through a different site. So keep your eyes open for that as the events post up in the next week or so. But we're gonna do it from here, which everyone should be able to get an idea. So what I'm going to do is, let's say I want to do this workout here called Threshold Rivet. Um, what I'm going to do is click Download on this button here, and then it will actually download to my download folders. So what I can do is hit that and show in my finder. It'll take me over to that folder, and then what it will do is show us in the download folder um, where it is. And so what we'll do, so we've got that in the download folder. We'll open another window here. And what it will do is open um, on your computer, Windows or Mac, open the Documents folder, and you'll see your documents. It should include a folder called Zwift. Inside that folder, there's Activities, which are all your FIT files, your Logs, which are the things that we turn into Zwift if we have issues, and then our Workouts. So that Workout folder is where we're going to go. So what we'll do is we'll actually um, open up that tab so you can see it. Um, you can double-click it also, and then it'll open it completely. These are all the Workouts, obviously, that are already loaded. Um, but we'll reload it anyway. So we'll go from the downloads folder here. I'll take it real easily, take it, and I'll drop it into the workouts folder. And then it says that I have more than one. Do I want to replace? Um, I won't say, actually, I'll go ahead and say replace just to let it go through. Um, we'll go ahead and replace, and it will replace. And you'll see that today at 202, um, Threshold Rivet has been added to the workouts folder. And then what I'll do is I'll add, um, I'll load Zwift here uh, quickly. And then what I'll be able to do is show you where you can find the workouts and kind of um, how it explains what's going on. So let me do this and log back in. So really, it ends up being a pretty simple thing once you start getting an idea of where all the files are going to go. Um, as we come up um, to the next 12 weeks coming up before Worlds, I'm hoping to have all the workouts already done. Um, meaning written out already, so that all we'll need to do is just load those files um, all onto your stations. And if you have any old versions, like the ones here from July or June 28th or anything older, what we'll want to do is go ahead and um, override or overwrite those files. Uh, that way we can um, have the most updated versions, because I've um, slowly made it small little incremental changes here, here and there. So here we are in rainy London. I will jump on some. It doesn't really matter what we're doing here, but what you can do is hit the letter E to get to workouts. That's one way to get there. And then what you'll do is you'll be able to scroll down. You get a little further down. You'll be able to scroll down to where all the workouts. So they are all tabbed So um, with Odie's Whifters. So when you get down, this is what you'll normally see. A couple things will be missing. I've got custom workouts, which I've made myself. I've got Odie's Whifters, which we, is where you will find all of our workouts. I've got Sufferfest from when we did that, and a couple other things. So I'll click that tab. It'll open up, and it's got our whole menu of workouts that we've developed over the last three or four months to help our riders get to where they are um, and are also tested by a majority of the core riders just to make sure that they make sense. Um, so let's go down to the one that um, we were going to try to do. Um, we'll go down to Threshold Rivet, which is right here, and what it tells us, it has um, an LSCT warm-up, which is pretty standard for most of our workouts. It's got 5 minutes at 105% FTP, and then 5 minutes of rest at 85% FTP, and it's um, by 5 times, meaning we do it 5 times. So definitely a little bit more of an advanced workout, um, but definitely doable. You can see your stress points here, your predicted potential TSS. Um, you can go to any uh, other workouts and it'll give you information about that. Let's check out another workout just to kind of get an idea of what's going on. Um, here's a good one. This is the one that we'll do early on. It's got a little bit more information about um, the 8-minute FTP test and kind of why we use it and how to use it. 
So it's got all the information here, and um, most of these workouts are going to require at least one day of rest or active recovery the day before, so keep that at note. But we'll remind you as we go along. But anyways, that's where you'll find it there, um, under OD Zwifters. And just going back um, really quick, another way you'll find this is if you go back, see if I can force it to go to screen. Here it is. So the other way to look at it, it'll be here, you where you choose your route and your ride on. So you um, your ride start, you can pick your course, you can select select workout, and then you've got your workout there. So the key part here, close out of that. So the key part here is going to be where you drop the folder. So just as a quick summary. We're on the um, Facebook website, uh, Facebook, um, Team ODZ Facebook. We are going to go to um, the Files tab here. Go back back to the Files tab, pick the folder that you want, or wherever you're going to be downloading this from. Um, you pick those files and you download them. Go to your Download folder. Let's see if we can pull those up. So then you'll go to your Download folder, Show and Finder. And then you'll want to drop those in um, right where you want to go. So it'll go to Documents, Windows or Mac, Zwift folder. You'll see this kind of nomenclature here, Activities, CP, Logs, and Workouts. Inside this Workout folder is where you will drop up your downloaded file from where the download folder into the Workouts folder, and that should be good. Any questions, you let us know. All the guys are really good at helping out. Um, answer questions, so whatever you guys got, let us know. Um, otherwise, um, right on, and um, hope to see you out there on the course, and, and uh, everyone gets stronger and get faster. So, right on. Talk to you later. Bye.